what is success see your goal understand the obstacles create a positive mental picture clear your mind of self doubt embrace the challenge stay on track show the world you can do it with this beautiful thought a very good morning to all my dear students i hope that you all are in good health i shreya jadav welcome you all to my e learning channel and today we are going to do english grade 12 poem 3 keeping quiet written by pablo neruda so before going through the reading explanation and the figures of speech of the poetry let us know something about the poet ricardo ries besolto born on 12th july 1904 died 23rd september 1973 better known by his pen name and later legal name pablo neruda a chilean poet diplomat and politician who won the nobel prize for literature in 1971 neruda became known as a poet when he was 13 years old and wrote in a variety of styles introduction for answer dear students whenever you write down your answers for examination purpose always remember to start your answers with introduction poem's name keeping quiet poet's name pablo neruda genre poetry summary the poem suggests the importance of stillness and silence in our life the poem refers to the need of introspection or meditation for every human being so now let us go through the reading and explanation of the poetry poem 3 keeping quiet summary the poet encourages people all over the world to count to 12 be quiet and do nothing he wants people to be still so that there is silence on the earth this would be an unusual and exciting moment without the rush of vehicles and machines this stillness will be strange but there would be no pollution and the bonds of humanity will become stronger this inactivity will stop the fishermen from catching fish so the whales will be safe the salt pan workers will find time to heal his wounds those who wage their wars against humanity or environment including the use of poisonous gases wars where there is victory but no survivors will be able to shade their uniforms and walk peacefully with their brothers there would be peace harmony and brotherhood the poet clarifies though he is advocating the importance of silence he doesn't want to be misunderstood he doesn't mean inactivity he wants there to be action for progress or there will be death he wants people to introspect and stop being self centered and selfish he wants them to move in the right direction of life and to let live he doesn't want us to have the fear of death and think how many of our dreams have been fulfilled 
but he also wants people to understand what they have gained in life according to the poet the earth can be the best teacher to guide us in the process of being quiet he says that a seed seems to be dead and when it is planted it comes to life and produces a plant or a tree he offers to count 12 to his readers to instru- introspect and then he wants to move away so that the reader can enjoy his meditative and introspecting stage this is the summary of the whole poetry keeping quiet so let us begin now we will count to 12 and we will all keep still for once on the face of the earth let's not speak any language let's stop for one second and not move our arms so much so over here in the beginning of the poetry uh, the poet is encouraging people to count to 12 to sit still not to do anything and to be very much patient for once he is telling that they should feel that stillness that silence on the earth do not speak any sort of language and he is requesting all the people to stop all the moments which are happening in this world whether it is moment related to people whether it is related to vehicles machines men are engrossed so much in their activities that they forget to live that very moment so he is telling that let us stop for one second and not do anything even not move the arms also it would be an exotic moment without rush without engines we would all be together in sudden strangeness fishermen in the cold sea would not harm whales and the man gathering salts would not look at his hurt hands so the writer is trying to appeal his you no know, telling people to follow this thing he is telling that for a certain time duration no rush for for the vehicles no rush of the machineries no rush of people moving from one place to other in in a hurry some manner yes let's stop and that stillness that quietness will be strange for a certain time duration but there would be no pollution and there would be a sudden feeling there would be a sudden strangeness and bondage of humanity and that bondage will become stronger the this inactivity which is going on which the poet is appealing this inactivity will stop the fishermen also from catching the fish so that there could be no harm to the whales also they will also be safe on the other hand the men who are gathering salt the workers who are working at the salt pen will also find a bit of time to heal their wounds those who prepare green wars wars with gas wars with fire victory with no survivors would not would put on clean clothes and walk about with their brothers in shade doing nothing so over here the poet is talking about those people who are indulged in this no green wars not only wars with human beings but also war with the nature war with the gas each and every element of the nature and they are trying to say 
that there will be victory but there will be no survivals yes that people would die but there will be no men to no enjoy that freedom moreover to that um, no survivors will also be there to shed their uniforms and who could walk peacefully with their clean clothes and no everything well with their brothers in the shade and this would become a peace and harmony and a brotherhood would be developed what i want should not be confused with total inactivity life is what it is about i want no truck with death if we were not so single minded about keeping our lives moving and for once could do nothing perhaps a huge silence might interrupt this darkness of never understanding ourselves and of threatening ourselves with death perhaps the earth can teach us as when everything seems dead and later proves to be alive now i will count up to 12 and you keep quiet and i will go so over here we can see that the poet is clarifying and he is telling that please don't get confused though he is advocating the importance of silence but that silence doesn't mean to be misunderstood he doesn't want this to be included in inactivity he wants that there should be some progress some action should be going on or there will be death if we do not do anything with our good life then we are good for nothing he says that we are not supposed to work but we are supposed to spend and spare time for our own self we are supposed to be away from the materialistic wealth world for a certain time duration to realize the importance of our life he wants people to introspect and stop being self centered and selfish today we all are indulged so much that i want to come first i want to achieve this success i should be at number 1 but certain times we are supposed not to be selfish we are supposed to be not greedy we are supposed to think of others he wants them to move in the right direction of live and let live he doesn't want us to have a fear of death and think how many of our dreams have been fulfilled but he wants people to understand what they have gained in life the importance that earth teaches us that life and death are part and parcel we cannot no deny that thing but what is even more important is something that we should not you no know, dream that we should not count how many of our dreams are fulfilled or not we should not be grumpy around everywhere that i'm unsatisfied with my life rather than you should be saying that whatever you have gained in the life is the best you can ever have and according to the poet the earth can be the best teacher to guide us in the process of being quiet because nature also teaches us plenty of things nature teaches us to give and not to not to stay not to be no greedy about getting back things moreover to that he says that a seed seems to be dead when it is planted it comes to life and it even produces a plant or a tree so we are supposed to take a, a bit of time duration from our busy schedules spend time with our own self and to be with our one soul 
and he also offers to count 12 for his readers to introspect to analyze and then he wants to move away so that the readers can enjoy his meditative and introspecting stage how beautiful this poetry is been written and it is really very easy to understand also so after this explanation let us move ahead for the figures of speech so now let us begin with figures of speech the first one now we will count to 12 and we will all keep still the first one is alliteration now in this figure of speech there is repetition of consonant sound especially in the beginning of the sentence or in the beginning of the words so over here the consonant sound w is been repeated in the words v and will repetition the repetition of words and phrase to increase the musical effect so over here we have words like we will and that has been repeated in the sentence for poetic effect metonymy metonymy means an attribute or a thing which is represented by another closely related to so over here count to 12 and keep still means to have patience so instead of writing directly patience they have written it in other words for the poetic effect second one for once on the face of the earth let's not speak any language the first one is personification the meaning is an inanimate object or abstract notions are given human qualities so over here inanimate object becomes the earth and that is been personified though it has a face second one is litotes the meaning is the negation is used to convey a positive meaning that we should keep quiet and not speak so over here it has been mentioned and you can also identify likewise that here not is written down third one let's stop for one second and not move our arms so much so the first one is a synec doc the meaning is a part stands for a whole and a whole stands for a part so this is we can say over here a part of a body which means arms stands for people the second one is spun the meaning of it is use of words which are capable of having more than one meaning and it also creates a humorous effects so over here the word arm denotes two meanings a part of the body and the defense ammunition third one is alliteration that is the consonant sound m is repeated in the words like move and much the fourth one is litotes the negation is used to convey a positive meaning that we all keep still over here the word not is also been mentioned so you can identify in that way also fourth one it would be an exotic moment without a rush without engines the first one is metonymy that is an attribute or a thing which is closely related to so over here the words without a rush represents people and without engines represents machines second one is repetition over here the word without is been repeated for the poetic effect fifth one we would all be together in sudden strangeness the first one over here is alliteration that is the consonant sound w 
is been repeated in the words we and would. The next one is internal rhyme. So over here the rhyming words we and be are used in the same sentence. Sixth one, fishermen in the cold sea would not harm whales. So over here the first one is alliteration. You all know the meaning that there is a repetition of consonant sound especially in the beginning of the word. So over here the consonant sound W repeated in the words like wood and whales. The next one is litotes. The negation is used to convey a positive meaning that men would save the whales. You can also identify this as not is being mentioned over here. And the man gathering salt would look at his hurt hands. The first one is alliteration. Over here the consonant sound H is being repeated in the words like his, hurt and hands. Second one is a synagogue. The meaning is a part stands for a whole and a whole stands for a part. So over here hands stands for man gathering salt. Eighth one. Those who prepare green wars, wars with gas, wars with fire, victory, no survivors, would put on clean clothes and walk about with their brothers in shade doing nothing. So here the first one is internal rhyme. The meaning is use of two or more words which rhyme within one single line of the words in the same line. So over here we have rhyming words doing and nothing. You can see that at the end we have ing, ing being used. So that would be internal rhyme. The next one is repetition. Over here the words are being repeated like without. Next one is alliteration that is the consonant sound W is being repeated in the words like wars, wood, walk and with. And the sound of cle that is CL is being used in the words like clean and clothes. Next one is irony. The meaning is the real meaning is exactly the opposite of that which is literally conveyed. So over here the meaning that is victory with no survivor tone denotes an opposite meaning that it is actually a defeat because we have no human beings left to celebrate the freedom. Why? Because all are dead in the war. The last one is litotes, that is a negation is used to convey a positive meaning that all are dead. Ninth one, what I want should not be confused with total inactivity. So over here the first figure of speech is litotes. That is negation is used to convey a positive meaning that there will be an action. And over here the word not also signifies that this is litotes. Next one is alliteration and that is the consonant sound W is being repeated in the words what, with and want. The next one is metonymy. The meaning of it is an attribute or a thing which represents closely. So over here that inactivity represents death. 
so instead of you no know, writing down directly death they have mentioned inactivity 10th one life is what it is about i want no truck with death so the first one is antithesis over here over here the opposite word life and death are used in the same sentence for poetic effect 11th one if we were not so single minded about keeping our lives moving for once could do nothing so here the first one is internal rhyme that is use of two or more words which rhyme within one single line so over here we have rhyming words moving and nothing in the same sentence the next one is alliteration that is the consonant sound w is been repeated in the words like v and were and the sound of s in the words so and single minded twelfth one perhaps a huge silence might interrupt this sadness and never understanding ourselves and of threatening ourselves with death so over here the first one is personification and the meaning is non living abstract notion inanimate objects are given human qualities so over here the inanimate object that is silence is given a human quality of interrupting the next one is internal rhyme the meaning of it is that use of two or more words which rhyme within one single line so over here we have rhyming words like understanding and threatening which are used in a single line the next one is litotes that is negation is used to convey an affirmative no meaning that too much may result into death thirteenth one perhaps the earth can teach us as when everything seems dead and later proves to be alive so the first one over here is personification that is an inanimate object is given human qualities that is the inanimate earth is given human quality of teaching next one is antithesis the opposite words dead and alive are used in the same sentence the 14th one now i will count up to 12 and you keep quiet and i will go so over here the first one is metonymy the meaning of it is an attribute or a thing is represented by another closely related to so over here the word keep quiet represents introspection the next one is repetition so the word i will is been repeated for the poetic effect so over here this is all about the figures of speech we have done for the poetry at the end the title of you no know, pablo neruda's poem keeping quiet suggests us the importance of stillness and silence in our life and the poem refers to the need of introspection or meditation for every human being thank you for watching and have a nice day i hope that you all have understood the poetry explanation and figures of speech thank you everyone and have a nice day if you still have any doubt or queries you can comment down in the comment section below have a good day